The Sportsman's Table, presented by the South Carolina Department of Agriculture. Certified South Carolina. This is what memories are made of. The Southern lifestyle and cuisine is always being served up on the menu at Terra Restaurant in West Columbia, South Carolina. Our trigger fish recipe this week features Southern roots and homegrown goodness in each and every bite. Joining me from the South Carolina Farmers Market and Agricultural Center is Chef Mike Davis, the owner of Terra Restaurant. Hey Mike, I tell you what, fresh and locally grown, man, that's your bread and butter. It sure is, and um, we're uh, happy to have a little uh, fresh fish right from the coast, uh, from caught right out of Shim Creek. This is a trigger fish, as you can see on the table here. Yeah. We're gonna start it off in a little uh, canola oil and just get it going there in a real hot pan. Gotcha. Now, you're just gonna lightly cook this, sear it, just going to sear it real quick in a okay. hot pan, um, you know, with a, a piece of fish this thin. You don't need to put it in the oven or anything. You can just cook it on one side, get it nice and brown, cook it on the other, just touch it for firmness to make sure it's done. Well, you know, one of the things that I've learned being around you guys for a number of years is don't overcook it. Don't overcook it. That's the thing. You'd rather undercook fish and have to bring it up just a little bit than uh, overcook it and dry it out and make it not any good. Well, you know, trigger fish, okay, I've, I've caught them and, and we've thrown them back, but right. this is really a, a, a very sought after fish by a lot of you chefs now. It sure is. It's got a real sweet taste and uh, it's uh, kind of real on the, on the milder, uh, milder flavor of fish, yeah. not so oily and, uh, and over the top fishy, so it's real sweet. Tender and uh, buttery, and everybody seems to enjoy it at the restaurant. You know, do they teach you guys this flip technique? And I mean, I, you know. Yeah, and once you uh, <laughs> once you hold a pan for long enough, uh, you got to figure it out, or you will end up burning yourself. Uh, it's kind of like arthritis around the handle. I yeah, got you. You okay. got that right. There you go. <laughs> so we'll put just a little bit of butter in there and just get it nice and brown. Gotcha. Mm. It doesn't take much to to make fish smell good. I can it tell sure you that. Doesn't. Okay, get little little sea salt there, right? And just a little salt, a little kosher okay. salt right over yeah. the top. Get it just a little bit longer and then we'll be ready to flip her over. There we go. Well, you know, I will be honest with you, um, the menu at Terra, these are the kinds of things that you guys feature there. And so, uh, you know, it's just, it's an awesome place. It really is. And, and I know that uh, all the staff over there really do a great job with all the certified South Carolina products. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a big part of what we do. And, uh, you know, we just feel like uh, seasonal food from uh, around our parts. Uh, it's fresher, it's better, it helps our community. And uh, why, not, uh, why not eat that? There you go. All right, Bob, now that we got our fish out of the pan and it's ready to go, we're going to use some, another South Carolina product. This is called Faro, and it's an ancient grain, kind of like a wheat berry. Right. It's growing right outside of town here in Columbia by Anson Mills. Wow. And uh, it's actually uh, what the uh, the Romans fed the legion, fed their army with. Really? Um, back in the day, it's so high on, uh, on protein, they could use it to make, uh, I guess, their porridge to keep those guys ready to go to go take over somebody else's country, I guess I got you. you will. Okay. But uh, what we're going to do with it today is just have some broccolini. We're going to do a little winter vegetable farro, so we'll gotcha. throw a little broccolini, some butternut squash, Wow. and a couple of mushrooms in here. And then we'll finish that off with a little bit of roasted garlic butter. And we're going to pull the trigger on this fish dish here soon, huh? And that's correct. That's exactly correct. All right. So we'll get that hot, a little bit of herb mix in there. Don't forget your salt and pepper, all you home cooks. That's what makes there the food go. taste okay. good. <laughs> all right, Bob, well, now that we have our winter vegetable far already, got a little salsa verde on the plate. We're just going to put our fish there and get ready for some good eat. Wow, that is an awesome looking dish, Mike. Mike, thanks so much for being my guest today. Fresh and local, there's no better choice than at Terra Restaurant in West Columbia, South Carolina. For more information, log on to their website at www.terrasc.com. And remember, for that special meal, it always tastes better when it's cooked with South Carolina certified products. South Carolina, nothing's fresher, nothing's finer. If you would like to have this recipe and others featured on this program, visit our website at www.bobredfern.com. Design backed by cutting edge precision. Sophistication that's world renowned. Durability that's not to be outdone. So, why do we insist on such perfection? We know what's at stake. Veritas and Verdict, the next generation of the V Series from Abu Garcia.